Hey, what's up everyone? It's Sal's your friend with another video. Welcome to my YouTube channel friends and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Today we're breaking down how hackers find exact GPS location using Kali Linux. It's not hard to find anyone's location, but if you learn this, you will hide yourself from hackers. I'm going to giving you full tutorial using Kali Linux and breaking it down. But first make sure this video is for strictly educational and informational purpose only. I own all equipment used for this demonstration. Hacking without permission is illegal, so please keep in mind thanks. This essay delves into the realm of ethical hacking, specifically focusing on how Kali Linux, a powerful open source operating system, can be used to find someone's GPS location. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how hackers find the exact GPS locations of the victims. First of all, let me tell you this is only for educational purposes. So let's get started. First of all, if you have not updated your system, first do that. So with this command app get update, I have already updated my system. Now, first of all, let me tell you how hackers find exact locations. They do uh, use phishing tools like Hound Engine, Rock, Cloudflare. Uh, they use these tools to find exact locations and we are going to use the Hound tool to find the exact location of my victim. So for that, uh, type this command A, why install BHP or reserve kit? So I've already installed it. Now I'll clone the Git repository with this command. Now I've already successfully cloned the Git repository. Now go to, first of all, let me see if it has downloaded or not. Yes, it has downloaded. Now it is asking whether I want to use Cloudflare Tunnel or not. For hosting the phishing website, I need to use Cloudflare Tunnel. For yes, I need to press Y. In a few seconds, it will create a phishing link. I'll show you how it looks and how it works. So it has created the phishing link over here. If I press it over here and let me search it on the browser. So here it is asking me to access my location. Unknowingly, some people will give the permission to access the location to this website. So here in our shell, it has given all the information of my device where I have this login or open this page. So all of these informations like which browser I'm using, which device I'm using, what's my screen, where's what's my computer score, how much time I'm having, and what's my IP address. All the information that a hacker needs is here and more importantly, it has also given this location. Let me search it on Google. It's my exact location of my house, okay? If you don't have Kali Linux installed or aren't familiar with running commands in Kali Linux, don't worry, I have a solution for you. There are alternative tools and online platforms that can help you achieve similar results without needing advanced technical skills. Let me show you how. GeoFinder is typically an online service or a tool used for location tracking by leveraging phone numbers or other identifiers. It works by sending a link to a target device, which, when clicked, collects geolocation data and sends it back to the tracker. It is not inherently part of Kali Linux or an extension slash tool bundled with it, but rather a standalone third-party service. Tools like GeoFinder, Grabify, or online platforms like IPLogger and IPinfo.io can help you trace locations without needing advanced technical skills. GeoFinder offers a unique and straightforward method for tracking someone's location by using an image. The process begins with uploading any image of your choice to the GeoFinder platform, which then generates a tracking link embedded within the image URL. You can share this image link with the target person through various platforms, such as SMS or social media apps like Facebook, Messenger and WhatsApp. When sent via SMS, the message is dispatched from an anonymous number, ensuring your identity remains confidential. Once the recipient clicks on the image link, GeoFinder captures their exact location and shares this data with you instantly through your geofinder.mobi account. This method eliminates the need for installing software on the target device, making it a discrete option for location tracking. In this chapter, we'll explore how hackers use Wireshark, a powerful packet-sniffing tool, to capture and analyze network traffic which can sometimes reveal location data. Wireshark is typically used for network troubleshooting, but hackers can also use it to capture packets that contain information about a device's connection. These packets can sometimes include geolocation data or clues about a target's location. To get started, a hacker would first need to install Wireshark on their system. Once installed, they would select the network interface to monitor, typically the one connected to the target's network. After setting up Wireshark, 
the hacker starts capturing packets. These packets carry data such as IP addresses, communication protocols, and sometimes even location information if the target is accessing location-based services or apps. By analyzing the packets, the hacker can look for specific protocols like HTTP or DNS requests that contain location data. For example, if the target's device is requesting a location service, such as GPS coordinates, this might appear in the packet data. Let's say the target's device communicates with an online service like Google Maps. The request might contain latitude and longitude data in the form of API calls, which could be intercepted by Wireshark. After capturing the relevant packets, the hacker can extract the geolocation data, such as GPS coordinates, and then input them into a mapping tool like Google Maps to visualize the target's exact location. This technique requires the hacker to be in close proximity to the target's network, or have access to the same network, such as a public Wi-Fi network. While not as straightforward as other methods, Wireshark can provide valuable location data for hackers. To protect against this, always use secure, encrypted connections like HTTPS and avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive activities. VPNs and firewalls can also help block unauthorized packet sniffing. In this chapter, we'll dive into how hackers can extract GPS data from mobile devices. One common method is using phishing links. Tools like GeoFinder enable hackers to send a tracking link to the target. The link might look like a harmless website, but once the target clicks on it, their GPS coordinates are sent back to the attacker. To set it up, the hacker generates a unique tracking link using GeoFinder, then sends it to the target disguised as something they would click on, like a promotional offer or a link to an interesting article. When the target clicks on the link, their device shares location data with the hacker. This method can reveal the target's precise GPS coordinates, allowing the hacker to trace their exact location. After receiving the coordinates, hackers can input them into tools like Google Maps to visualize the target's exact position. Latitude, 37.7749. Longitude, minus 122.4194. By simply pasting the coordinates into Google Maps, the hacker can pinpoint the target's location on a map. To protect yourself from this type of attack, always avoid clicking suspicious links. Use a VPN to mask your IP and regularly update your device's security settings to prevent unauthorized tracking. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of geolocation tracking. It's a powerful tool, really. By using various technologies like GPS, Wi-Fi, and even cell tower triangulation, we can pinpoint a device's location with impressive accuracy. This capability has numerous applications, from navigation to emergency services, and even in the field of cybersecurity. You know, it's incredible how much information is out there, just waiting to be used. Publicly available data can be a goldmine for geolocation. For instance, social media posts, photos with embedded location data, and even public records can provide valuable clues. By piecing together these bits of information, we can often determine a person's location without needing direct access to their device. But it's crucial to remember the importance of responsible hacking. Ethical considerations must always come first. Just because we have the ability to track someone's location doesn't mean we should do so without their consent. It's about striking a balance between leveraging technology and respecting privacy. Finally, promoting cybersecurity awareness and ethical practices is essential. We all have a role to play in creating a safer digital world. By educating ourselves and others about the potential risks and ethical implications of our actions, we can help ensure that technology is used for good. So, let's commit to being responsible digital citizens.